Palm Strikes. Probably one of the most uh, powerful and uh, safe strikes we can do for medium range. Uh, palm Strikes different from a punch. We have uh, some benefits and also a little bit of thing we lose. When we punch, we have a little bit more of uh, maybe a couple extra inches that we can gain. Palm, we lose a couple inches, but the benefits are really, in my opinion, without gloves, there are many. First of all, we don't get hurt because uh, try to hit, for example, a wall with your punch. Even if it's a dry wall, hard against hard, your knuckles, they're not that hard. Unless you're super conditioned, it takes years to do that. So instead, the striking point is going to be this part, the palm heel of our hand, not the center of our hand, just this part. Kind of very important because it's not going to give us any type of pain if we strike our surfaces. Now, with the palm strike, what can we go? First of all, face, nose, even jaw, that normally would be dangerous, you know, with our fist. Then, of course, we can also do, let's say, less important strikes in case we don't want to hurt them that much. That could be also, of course, the chest, in case we want to just push them away. At the same time, the palm can be also used as a side strike, like almost like a slap, but still hitting with the palm for jaw, neck, and ear. It can be very powerful. So now, the palm strikes can be seen as a boxing position. Go ahead. Think about like we have a jab and cross. So slow motion, this end is already here, extend and go. Now, very important, what we want to do, keep our elbows down. Do not flare our elbows when we strike, so we don't give it away and we don't lose power. Now, relax until you strike. So it's kind of always the same thing, relax and tense. Breathe out on the strike, move your body in, and every time I can, rotate on the hip and on your feet to generate more power and cross. Now, I'm trying to make it safer. I'm gonna put a kind of a chest line here. So go straight and start with a jab. Slow motion, boom, beautiful. Now you move your body in, breathe out. Go, good. You see, you're not striking the surface, you're going through, go ahead. Good, there is power, okay? Now I want you to do one, two, that means jab and cross. Important thing is the synchronization of time. I don't want to retract completely my jab and then strike with the cross. The moment that slow motion, go with the jab, stay there, good, like that, beautiful, you see? The moment that that one is still here on target, the jab, the cross is ready to deliver. Now, remember, your cross, you need to keep stepping forward because the distance now is changing and rotate your hips. Okay, give me one jab across, good. Now, remember, it's not a push, it's a strike, okay? Go ahead. Good. Now give me one, two, three, four. Jab, cross, cross. Good. Wow, that was great. Nice. See, I, I'm not faking it. She's really moving it. Thank God I have a pad here. Okay, go. Good. Now let's change guard. Okay, slow motion first. Everything starts slow, okay? Slow, one. One, two. Good. Now one, two, three, four. Good. Good job. Now, very important, you know, she's keeping the fingers together. Try to keep and your thumbs kind of close together too. Because if you have your hands up, can be broken, can be taken. So always keep focus on just this striking part, okay? Good job. As you can see, palm strike can be used like a jab and cross. Now, let's go with it. Palm strike as an individual strike. So let's say, for example, right now, I'm grabbing somebody. I'm clinching somebody. Boom like I'm punching it and holding it, same story. Now, the difference is that I don't just strike, I kind of move and push to me. And I can continue this with a variation, especially if you're a lady, it is not just strike, but use now one, and then use your nails to scratch. Anything you can scratch, strike and scratch. It's very important because first of all, you're gonna get extra pain, especially if you go into the eye, can incapacitate, maybe blind the person for a moment, or maybe, you know, if you deserve it for more. Also, you collect important uh, evidence, DNA of that person that maybe was trying to rape you or harm you. At least you have that. So bang, bang, okay? Always be safe when we do that. Don't do it on a person's face. If you have a mannequin, do it, or do it in a kind of controlled way on this. 
Okay. okay. So slow motion, just go with the jab. Okay. One. Okay. Control it. Right now you're already controlling it. Control control with one hand. This is kind of like okay. a shoulder. Okay. Okay. And now you strike it, boom, and strike. Boom. Okay. Pound, boom, and strike. Technique you're controlling it before you strike. This normally is a secondary strike. You can just say, come here. Unless you're faking it, hey, how are you? Boom, okay? So, you're ready punching or whatever, so you're controlling, bang, bang, okay? Can be an opportunity. Now, same type of strike, but with the kind of side impact. So, right now I'm using my side arm, side hand, excuse me, and I'm not gonna strike straight, but I'm gonna do this move. And I don't move just my hand or my arm, I move all my hip, boom. Now, we can practice safely on our shoulder. Always start slowly, okay? From here, I'm gonna do hey, hey, hey. And it's very important that the hands are up. It's very important that I can relax all my body while I'm rotating, because if I'm tense, I'm not gonna be powerful. Now, I can go to two aspects. This strike can be on the ear, and I can do like a little cup. And I bypass the palm heel. It can be like this, and I can be like this. That would be, in effect for the ear, very devastating. I can also go as a knockdown with the palm heel to the jaw, to the neck, and I'm doing now for demonstration on the shoulder, that can be very powerful, mm, you yeah. know? So you have two variations. The movement is the same. Try to be relaxed in your strike. Ears doesn't take much energy, boom. And I want almost this like a whip, okay? That will hurt, but here we pop the ear drops. Instead, if I want to do powerful, for a knockdown, get your hand here, palm here, and boom. So, you can do it on me a couple of times, slowly, or whatever you want to do. That side, you want to do the side, let's move here. Slow motion. Move all your body in. Good. Now, don't open it too much. You okay. can't see it coming. That's it. If I do this, I'm not going to stay there. So, technically, from here, boom. Okay. Okay? Let's go. Move less. Go. I, was, I felt it. Really good. <laughs> now turn around. Practice the other side. You always want to practice both sides. Not overextend. Otherwise, you open your defense and you see it coming. Right. From here, look. I'll show you. Put your arms down. I'm not going to hit you hard. From here, look. I don't do this. I am, right. I'm already there. Boom. The generation of power is from here. Okay. Okay. Throw it to me. Good. Try to be more relaxed and breathe out when you strike. One more time. Very good. If that was on the face, I would have serious problem, okay? okay? And then, of course, being more relaxed in your strike. Okay. Little practice. So we have palm strike, you can see. One, two, control one, and stretch. Use as a side strike. We can also use palm strike for double. Yeah. Now, the idea is not just go straight, horizontal, but kind of a 45 degree up. Because what you want to do here, you lift me up, of my heels. So slowly, you now I'm trying to come close to you. And boom! You see, you lift me up, you put me on balance. And by the way, this palm strike, if you do with your body and pushing all the way, I seen uh, people going for 15, 20 feet rolling out. Yeah. It's really powerful. Yeah. Now we'll do this one safely with this one. Okay, hands up. Okay. Don't hit me on the face, please. Okay. Get it here, okay? okay? So I'm coming towards you. The timing is very important. You don't want to strike too early. Okay, now start first slowly, okay? Do the technique right. Good. Push and breathe out. Okay. Relax and strike. Good. Now, more of a strike than a push, okay? Good. Now go. Now try to go 45 degrees going up, okay? Good. Now, technically, from start, I'm coming close to you. I'm already here. Look at me. It's a surprise strike. Go. Good. That was good. You see, you can move me. I'm 23 pounds, and, and if really I could go out, especially if taken off guard. Okay? Yeah. It would be a better grip on your chest. Yes, too. of course. Now yeah. on the chest would be much better. Yeah. Slowly, go on the chest. No. Yeah. Yeah. Much better. You see how much you can push me better. Yeah. That sleeps. Yeah. Last thing with the palm strike. Okay. I want to strike like I would do to this area. So, back. And then, that would be a message, but I want to go to the second message. Don't mess with me. So one, and then you put the fingers. Okay, come closer. That's my favorite. Inside. So bang, 
and bend. So pump pump, okay? It's technically two movements, but you're gonna be so fluid, it's gonna be bend, bend. It's just a message, this is not a fight. But technically now, the next step, it's to him or to her. Yeah. You tell her, stay away. It is not just take it out. Yeah. It is a bang, bang. Yeah, totally. Okay? So do it to me one time without, thank God you have no nails. <laughs> okay? One, two. And it kind of hurts, especially when you do it down. Yeah. Okay? So this is about pump strikes. They're very powerful, simple to use. Mistakes that we have to look at, first of all, do not flare our elbows. Be sure always, it is not just our arm, it's all our body with always rotation and relax until you strike. Yeah. Breathe out, don't strike the surface.